The objective of this video is to teach the art of window tinting. What takes three to five years to master will be shown to you step by step for easy understanding. You can use this information for your personal use or to begin a career in the exciting, lucrative field of window tinting. The techniques and special tips contained in this video are not available to the general public. Only professional installers and tent shops across the country have this information. I advise you to watch this video in its entirety prior to installation of your vehicle. Let's begin. Tenting Tools and Supplies Dishwashing soap is the main ingredient to all your prepping and installation procedures. One to two drops of soap in one spray bottle of water is all that is needed. A non-ammonia window cleaner will be needed as well. Razor blades are used solely for the inside window preparation removing dirt, stickers, and other foreign material. Use blades with a razor blade holder and also use only single-edge stainless steel razor blades. Scouring pads can be a substitute for razor blades, especially for back windows where one would not want to destroy any existing defroster lines. Do not use the abrasive green scouring pads. They will scratch the glass. There are a couple of types of squeegees that need to be discussed. Handle squeegees are used for outside window preparation. The yellow nylon squeegees can be used for preparation, but more importantly, they're used for installation purposes. Ulfa knives are the only knives that can be used when cutting the film. These knives are readily available at hardware stores. Stainless steel Ulfa blades must be the only kind used. Silver Ulfa are best, but are hard to find. Hard cards and bondos are needed for tacking down film and are necessary for smoothing out wrinkles and or bubbles. An angled hard card can be used for hard to reach areas. These can be found at auto supply stores. Frame door with roll-up window. Pattern preparation. Begin by spraying the outside of door. With handled squeegee, squeegee the entire outer glass surface. After this process, wipe the entire outer door frame to ensure a clean working area and to avoid any debris. Spray the window again. When placing film on window, be sure liner side is facing you. All film has a clear liner on the adhesive side that must be removed when we do the installation. Be sure factory edge is then butted to the top of the bottom door gasket. This is to guarantee a tight top border with no light gap at the bottom edge. Using your hard card, tack the film down. This is to avoid any slipping of the film that could occur during pattern preparation. Before cutting pattern, always be sure to have a sharp Ulfa blade. This is easily done by taking the end cap of your knife, inserting the blade into the end cap, and snapping it off. Cutting left vertical edge. Have knife in one click position. Gently insert blade into the top left vertical edge of the window frame. Slowly cut along the edge of the window frame slowly cut down the vertical edge. Gently tear scrap away from the cut line, leaving tabs on top and bottom, which will be needed for later final preparation. Tracing right vertical edge. The right vertical edge will be cut differently using a special tracing technique. 
where the knife blade is not exposed. Simply trace the edge using the dull edge of the knife, leaving it for final preparation, which will be explained later. Now roll the window down two to three inches to cut the top edge of the window. Make sure you use a freshly snapped blade. With the knife in the three or four click position, insert the knife into the center of the top edge. Make a three inch cut, then tear out a U-shaped piece about three inches in length. This is to eliminate stress at the top pattern edge. Continue cutting down the right edge. Carefully hold the scrap away from your cut. Now tear away the scrap. Now cut the left side of the top edge, again tearing away the scrap. Removing pattern and rounding corners. Remove the film from the window. Spray the window. Then place the film back on the window so as to finish the pattern and properly cut the corners and edges. Rounding corners. In cutting the corners, you will use your index finger and position it on the corners. Snap the blade. With the knife into three to four click position, gently round the edge using your finger as a guide, being careful, of course, not to cut yourself. Nice round edges are important in preventing daily wear and tear of normal everyday window usage. Now let us go back to the previous scoring of the right vertical edge. This technique is to ensure that your pattern is never too small. As you can see, the scored line should be evident. To this scored line, add one eighth of an inch. This is to oversize the pattern to prevent any light gap during installation. Using a straight edge or hard card at this one eighth inch of visible scored line, and then cut it. After cutting the edge, Round the corners to complete the pattern. Determining window curve. Before installation of the pattern, determine the window curve by spraying the window. Put the pattern back on the window two inches from the bottom door gasket. With a hard guard, tack the film down across the top edge and smooth out gently from side to side as seen here. This technique is very important in determining the curvature of the window. The ripples that appear on the bottom of the film are called fingers. Using your hard card, gently separate the fingers. They will vary in size depending on the curvature of the glass. Detect the fingers on the bottom edge. These fingers must be eliminated by a term called shrinking 
which is using a heat gun or blow dryer. As the fingers are heated, you will notice a zipper-like effect as the finger starts to shrink. Using your hard card, continue smoothing out the film. The fingers will only shrink toward the factory edge of the film due to the grain pattern in the film. The film may distort if shrunken against the grain. Once shrinking is complete, the film should be evenly flat with no ripples and now ready for installation. Frame door with roll-up window. Film installation. Now it is time for installation. Begin by rolling the window all the way up and then spray the window with your soapy solution. Using a razor blade in its holder, again be cautious, start scraping the lower window edge approximately three to four inches up from the bottom. Roll the window down about one to two inches. Spray the window. And finish razor blading the entire window from top to bottom. This is to thoroughly clean the window and rid it of any debris, such as hair, lint, or dust that may cause contamination during film installation. Spray the window again and completely squeegee until it is clean and dry. First use a cloth to wipe the top edge. Squeegee from side to side, not up and down. When this is complete, finish the process by wiping the top of the door panel to eliminate moisture and debris that may still be present. Before peeling your film pattern, lightly spray the outside of the window again. Then wipe it dry with your towel or cloth. Lightly spray once more. And put your pattern on the window approximately two to three inches from the top edge. Lightly spray the film and tack it down with your squeegee. Peeling the film. To peel the film, start by peeling the liner from the top left hand corner separating the liner from the film. Spray the film to activate the adhesive and minimize static electricity, which will attract dust. Slowly peel the liner all the way down to the bottom edge, leaving three to four inches at the bottom.
Continue to spray the film, thoroughly saturating the film's adhesive side. Now remove the pattern and install it on the inside of the window very carefully. Make sure that the film does not come in contact with the frame of the door panel. Make sure your top and side borders are even. Check the position of the film very carefully. Spray the film again. Now squeegee from the center out to ensure even distribution. If done any other way, buckling of the film may occur. Dry blotting. Wrap the hard card in a paper towel or a soft cloth. Gently dry blot the top edge, making sure the top edge is completely dry. Now you're ready to roll up the window slowly. Lift up the bottom edge of the film with the liner intact. Flush the window thoroughly so that no debris will be left behind. Peel away the liner from the film and allow the film to fall up against the glass. If you notice the film is lying on the door rubber, take the angled hard card and tuck the film back behind the rubber. Continue to spray the window and using your squeegee, start at the center and work outward toward the edges. Use a light touch with the squeegee. If you press hard, you may shift the film on the window. If any fingers should arise, gently stretch the film away from the finger. Push fingers toward the corners, not toward the center. To complete the window, dry blot all vertical edges and the bottom door rubber. Do this to ensure that no fingers will come back later from moisture at the edges of the film. Spray the window and gently wipe off the film. Congratulations, you've just completed your first framed roll-up window. Frameless door window, film preparation. Frameless door windows are unique because there's no metal frame around the glass. Achieving an even border on the vertical and the top edge is important. Start by spraying the window with soapy solution. Place the film on the window, liner side up. Be sure to cover the entire window, including the bottom door gasket. Begin by tacking down the film. The first cut that will be made is the left vertical edge. 
With your knife in the two to three click position, insert the blade into the film against the edge of the glass and cut out an indentation in the center of the glass. Again, relieving stress so that cutting is easier. Tear away the film and finish cutting from the bottom to the top. Now cut down toward the bottom and remove all scraps. When this is complete, lift up the film and spray again. Now slide the film over until you have the border that you desire approximately one eighth of an inch away from the edge of the glass. Tag down the film again across the top edge. Now you're ready to cut the top edge. Again, make an indentation. This relieves stress. Cut along the edge of the glass, tearing away the scrap as you go, and continue to cut down the right edge of the glass. Hold the scrap away from the cut and gently tear the scrap away. Now continue the same process with the left edge and remove scrap. Lift the film off the window and spray again. Now position the film so that there is an even 1 8 inch border on both the vertical and the top edges. Notice that both edges are exactly the same size. This is very important to get a professional look in the final product. Now for the right vertical edge, again use the same technique as with the framed roll-up window. Lightly trace or score the edge with the dull part of your knife. The bottom door gasket will be cut at this time. Gently poke your index finger into the corner of the right vertical edge and the door gasket. And with your knife in the one quick position, gently cut along the top of the door gasket. When this is complete, tear away the scrap. You're now ready for final pattern preparation. Lift the film off of the door, spray the door, place the film in position so that you can round the corners. Just as you did before, round each corner, taking care not to cut your finger. Finish off cutting the right vertical edge. Round the first corner related to the right vertical edge. Finish rounding the last corner and your pattern is complete. Installation of this window is exactly the same as the framed roll-up window without the frame.
Frame rear roll-up window. Pattern preparation. Spray the window and place the film on the window with the factory edge on top of the bottom door gasket. Tack the film down. Now the right and left vertical edges will be cut. Cut the left vertical edge first. And gently tear away the scrap. Now cut the right vertical edge. And again remove the scrap. Lift the bottom edge of the film and roll the window down one to two inches. Now you will cut the top edge of the window just as you did in previous examples. Make a U-shaped cut and tear the film away in order to relieve stress. Starting in the center, cut the film using the glass as a guide. Gently tear away the scraps. Again going to the center, cut to the left using the glass as a guide. Remove the pattern and complete it by rounding all the corners. Remember to check for a compound curve before you install the film. Stationary windows, pattern preparation and installation. Size up the film to the window. Begin by spraying the window and placing the film on the window. This time, be sure to put the factory edge on the right vertical edge, overlapping by about an eighth of an inch. This is to ensure that the pattern will always be a little bigger than needed. Poke your finger into the gasket, and with your knife in the one-click position, Insert the blade against the gasket and slowly begin to cut upward to the factory edge of the film. Gently tear the scrap away from the pattern. To finish the pattern, cut downward smoothly following around the bottom of the gasket until you end up at the factory edge. Tear away the scrap. To complete the pattern, remove the film, spray the window, tack the film to the window with a hard card, and round the corners using your finger as a guide. Trimming the gasket. Before installation, you should always trim out a small amount of the gasket. First, size up the gasket by practicing the angle that you will cut. Now cut using a slanting knife with the blade in the one-click position. Evenly trim all around the edges of the window. Be cautious not to trim out too much rubber. This could cause leaks and or wind noise. Now peel away the gasket that you have cut off. Now trim the vertical edge of the window. Remove the rubber as you trim so that it does not bind up and so that your cut remains smooth and consistent.
When complete, always inspect your cut to make sure it's even and most importantly, neat. Window preparation. Spray the window and start by using your knife to clean the tight corners that your razor blade will miss. Now using your razor blade in a holder, clean the rest of the window. Spray the window again, and using a cloth or a paper towel, wipe off any water that may exist on the window gasket. Next, squeegee the windows until they're completely dry and all water is removed. When this is complete, flush out the bottom two to three inches of the window, peeling the pattern. Spray the top part of the film so that it will cling to the window as you peel away the lining. Leave two to three inches of the liner at the bottom. Spray the film to activate the adhesive. Spray the bottom edge of the glass and begin film installation. When installing a stationary window, be very cautious not to touch any part of the gasket, for that will cause contamination to get on the film. After the film is in place and carefully positioned, spray the film and begin to squeegee out the water from top to bottom. When squeegeeing is complete, Wrap your hard card in a cloth and use the dry blotting technique to finish the window. The dry blotting technique will eliminate moisture at the edges of the film to prevent fingers from forming. Seamless rear window technique, pattern preparation and installation. In this example of a seamless back window, we start by spraying the outside of the window's top edge. Using a 20 inch roll of film, cover the entire top half of the window lengthwise and cut it from the roll. Most rear windows are no wider than 40 inches, so the factory edge of the film should be close to the center of the window. A seamless rear window usually means there are two or more pieces of film involved in the total process, creating the illusion of a one-piece back window. When the film is in position, tack it down in the center of the window using your hard card. Now gently stretch the film from the center to the side. This technique forces the fingers to the top and bottom of both factory edges. This is critical in finding where to put your seam. Locate the largest finger. Find the defroster line just above that finger. This is where to put your seam. Select the defroster line you wish to put the seam on and cut just below it. Remember to have a freshly snapped blade so that no etching of the glass occurs. After you've made your cuts, notice that the tearaway eliminates all fingers. Follow the same procedure for the other side of the window. Gently stretch the film from the center to the side. This technique forces the fingers to the top and bottom of both factory edges. 
Notice the very large finger on the bottom portion of the film. Cut the film along the same defroster line. Notice that this completely eliminates the large finger at the bottom of the film. When both sides are complete, remove the excess film from the outer edges by trimming along the window gasket. This will leave enough film to overlap the dot matrix or black border. Most rear windows have one or the other. It is now time to shrink any existing fingers that may exist on your pattern. Wet shrinking. With your heat gun or blow dryer, begin shrinking the fingers. Again, you will notice the zipper-like effect occurring. This is natural. When the finger has finished shrinking, use your hard card to smooth out the film and continue this until all fingers are removed from top and bottom of pattern. This entire process is called wet shrinking simply because there's water between the film and the glass. Using the same technique, continue to wet shrink the other side of the film. Alternate between using the heat gun and the hard guard to smooth out the fingers. Continue shrinking the fingers until the entire film lies flat on the glass. Now it is time for your second piece of film. Before putting the film on the window, Make sure that you have no less than 20 inches to cover the rest of the window. By using a tape measure, simply position it on the window, extend it out to 20 inches, and follow your defroster line that you wish your seam to be on. Remember, if you're using a 20-inch roll of film, you'll need to make sure that these two pieces will cover the entire window. Before laying down the second piece, spray the entire bottom half of the window. Then place the film on the window. This next step is very important. Make sure that your factory edge is overlapping the defroster line that you have reserved for your seam. This overlap will be needed for the final installation. Here's the overlap. Position the film so it is even all the way across. Again, tack the film down in the center. Using the hard card, Tack the film down in the center of the second strip, working from the center to the edge. 
Your purpose is to distribute the fingers evenly to the top and bottom factory edges of the film. Repeat this process on the other side. Again, distribute the fingers evenly to the top and bottom factory edges of the film. Split large fingers into smaller fingers. Using the exact same technique as before, shrink all fingers and smooth out the film in the same manner that you did in the top pattern. With large fingers, alternate between your hand and the heat gun. Your hand will eliminate the bulk of the finger. And the hard card will smooth out the film and get rid of moisture. Continue shrinking the fingers on the other side of the window. Move the heat gun in a circular motion to evenly distribute the heat. Inspect the seam and make sure it lies completely flat. Any ripples will cause havoc when you attempt to install the film on the inside of the window. Separate the fingers and spread them out. Keep the fingers vertical. Again, use your hand to smooth out the largest fingers and separate them. and use the hard card for final smoothing and to remove moisture.
When everything is complete, trim around the entire window. Leave no more than an eighth inch gap overlapping the black border or dot matrix. Too little overlap will cause light gaps and too much will make for a harder installation. In order to be sure how much gap to leave, look inside the interior of the back window to see just how much room there is. All cars are different. Use a fresh blade and don't press too hard to avoid etching the glass. Gently peel back the extra film. You can see how the finished pattern should look. The overlap seam should be at least one inch thick with the defroster line in the middle. This seam will be completely eliminated in the final installation. Seamless rear window technique. Pattern installation. Before installation, you will need to prep the window. Start by spraying the window with soap and water solution. Using your steel wool or scrub pad, gently scrub the entire surface of the window. By doing this, you're making sure that no debris or contaminants will come in contact with the film. Never use a razor blade or sandpaper for this. They will remove or scratch the defroster lines and therefore destroy defroster efficiency. When scrubbing is complete, spray the window again and begin squeegeeing from left to right. Begin from the center of the window. Be sure that you leave no streaks behind and that the window is completely dry.
after squeegeeing is complete, using your dry cloth, wipe down the rear quarter panels or any other surfaces that the film may come in contact with. Before installing the film, again, spray the window with soapy solution. Begin this process in the center of the window and spray side to side. Never spray the very top edge of the window. This could bring contaminants onto the glass from the headliner or the rubber gaskets at the top. Again with your dry towel, wipe all moisture from the quarter panels. Now you're ready for installation. When installing a two or more piece rear window, you can choose to start from the bottom piece or the top piece. Here you can see the bottom piece has been installed first. When adding your second piece of film, be sure that your overlap is exactly as it was on the outside of the window. When squeegeeing, start in the center and work your way out to the sides. Be sure to follow the same squeegee pattern as in the outside preparation. Now it is time to cut the seam. Begin by starting from the left or right side of the window. Never start in the center. As you begin cutting, decide whether you want to cut on the top or bottom of the defroster line. Never cut through the center. You could ruin the filament and destroy the heat element. As you start to cut, it's best to hold your breath to cut a straight line. This will keep your hand more steady. As you're cutting the film, try not to stop until you reach the center of the window. Do not try to cut all the way across. It is best to start over from the other side and finish your cut in the center. Once both cuts have met, remove bottom scrap from the window. Now it is time to remove the layer of scrap between the two pieces of film. Spray the window and gently lift the top layer of film and pull out the remaining scrap. Remember to keep spraying the seam as you are pulling out the scrap. This is to prevent the film from sticking to the glass. If this has been done correctly, the scrap piece should be one complete piece. After removing the scrap, it is time to complete the seam. Gently squeegee horizontally left to right and remove all moisture from the seam.
Now you have a seamless rear window that looks like one piece. Dry shrink rear window technique, pattern preparation and installation. When using the dry shrink method, make sure the outside of the window is completely dry. Using your spray bottle, lightly mist the palm of your hand, then wipe your hand across the center of the window. Repeat this for the other side as well. This process is for tacking down the film. When placing the film on the window, it is best to leave the film on the roll. When using a large piece of film, simply roll the film from the roll to avoid crinkling or damaging the film. When the window is completely covered, cut away the roll. Remember, always be sure the liner is facing up. Now that the film is on the window, using your hard card, tack the film down in the center and stretch it to one side. Smooth it out from top to bottom, making sure that there are no fingers on the side. This will be very important in the shrinking process. Now you will need to cut away excess film from the top, side, and bottom of the window. With your knife in the two or three click position, slowly begin to cut along the window gasket, making sure to leave some extra film for an easier working surface. This will also relieve some stress on the film. When all scrap is cleared away, using your hand, begin to smooth out the film in a downward motion. This will evenly distribute the fingers for shrinking. Repeat this entire process for the other side of the window. The dry shrinking method is fairly new to the window tinting industry. If you master this technique, you will find that it's easier than wet shrinking, and also quicker, and some feel that the film has a better chance of lasting longer. This is because dry shrinking puts less stress on the film. The more stress, the faster the film breaks down. Now it is time for the shrinking process. Using a circular motion, use your heat gun or blow dryer to begin shrinking the film. 
This technique will evenly distribute the heat over the film. As you can see, the film almost immediately begins to mold to the window. Begin to smooth out the film using your hand or hard card. Your hand is the best method. This way, you can feel the texture of the film without possibly creasing it with a hard card. Remember that the film will be hot, so be very careful not to burn yourself. Continue working out one section at a time until the film is completely smooth. When you have completed a section of the window, use your squeegee or hard card to smooth out the film and to be sure that the surface is completely molded flat to the window. When finished, move on to the upper portion of the window. Again, separate the fingers and shrink them individually in a circular motion. Continue this process until all the fingers have been smoothed out. When finished, again smooth out the film with your squeegee or hard card. Continue this same process for the other side. Shrink the film until it is completely smooth from top to bottom. Again, using your squeegee or hard card, smooth out the film. When this is complete, inspect the entire window to make sure that all edges are finished and that all fingers are removed.
Again, using your squeegee or hard guard, smooth out the film. When this is complete, inspect the entire window to make sure that all edges are finished and all fingers are removed. Repeat this process on the other side. If you need to do any additional trimming around the outer edge of the dot matrix, do so now. Now you're ready for final installation. Backroll technique, rear window installation. If you don't have a cutting table or flat glass surface to peel your film on, the backroll technique is an easy solution to installing a rear window. Start by peeling the liner off the film about halfway and spray the film with your soapy water solution. Lay the liner back on the film. With your hand, smooth out the liner of all wrinkles and spray again. Follow the same steps on the other side, but be sure not to peel the whole liner. Leave about six to eight inches in the center. When finished, spray the entire pattern thoroughly. Begin rolling up the film tightly from one side to the other. The tighter you can make the roll, the easier the installation will be. When this is complete, find the end of the film. When done, flip the liner back onto the roll. This will separate the film and the liner. Leave for final installation. Rear window preparation and installation. Begin preparing the window just as you would for the seamless window installation. Spray the window. And scrub it with the steel wool or scrub pad. Again, this is to make sure that there are no contaminants left behind. Spray again. Then squeegee out from the center, left to right, until the window is completely clean and dry.
Again, wipe down all existing plastic or vinyl panels or moldings. Spray again, starting in the center and moving left to right. Never spray the top of the window. You may bring contaminants from the headliner onto the glass. Again, wipe down the side panels before installation. Now it is time for film installation. When installing, using the back roll method, be sure you start at the same side of the window that you finished rolling up the film. In this case, we begin at the left side of your screen and work the roll to the right. As you unroll the film, you will notice that the film is sticking to the window and the liner is coming off of the back side of the roll. This is a complete reverse method of installing film, hence the back roll. Gently remove the liner from the film before beginning the squeegeeing process. Then position the film evenly and so that the film is exactly where you want it. When squeegeeing the water out from the film again, start at the center and work from top to bottom and left to right. Divide the window into quarters, just like you did in the pattern preparation. Always make sure that your squeegee technique is exactly the same as the shrinking preparation. The film should lie down with ease.
When squeegeeing is complete, using your hard card wrapped in a towel, begin to dry blot all edges of the window, removing all moisture that may be present. Gently clean the entire window with the cloth to remove any moisture and squeegee streaks that may remain. After inspecting, now you're finished. Please be aware that a one-piece rear window is very challenging and requires a great deal of patience. Windshield Visor Strip Pattern Preparation Find the AS1 mark on your windshield. This is usually a good guideline to follow. Begin by spraying the top half of the windshield. When placing the film on the windshield, make sure the liner is facing up and the factory edge is on the bottom. The factory edge will ensure that you have a nice, even line. Position your pattern so that it is even with the AS1 mark. Using a tape measure, measure the distance from the top of the window to the AS1 mark. It should be approximately six inches. When both sides are measured evenly, tack the film down in the center of the window with your hard card. Using your knife in the one-click position, cut out a small section, about six to eight inches. This will release any tension on the film so that you can continue to cut the rest of the pattern. Tear away the film. Smooth out to one side. And cut a little more. Again, remove the scrap. Notice that the film begins to stress around the corner. This is where you need to stop cutting. Continue until the pattern becomes smooth enough to use your hard guard to completely tack it down. Finish cutting the curvature of the window in the same manner as before. Use the hard card to tack it down. Now you're ready to complete the other side in the same fashion. Again, cut the film and tear away the excess.
smooth out to the side and cut the film a little more, again removing the scrap. Wherever the film begins to stress around the corner, this is where you stop cutting. Continue until the pattern becomes smooth enough to use your hard card to completely tack it down. Follow the glass as you gently go around the corner. Notice how your pattern matches up to the AS1 mark. Now you have a visor strip that is ready for installation. When installing the visor strip, use all the techniques you've already learned in this video, and it should be a snap. Congratulations! You've learned virtually everything you need to know about installing film. Your film installation should be smooth and professional. Good luck and have fun.